What's up everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to use an Xbox 360 controller with an Xbox One. Now, this method is great because it doesn't require any third party peripherals or accessories or anything like that. It, it works based off of things that a lot of people already have. So, to get started, there are a couple of things that you will need. And that's obviously going to be an Xbox One, a Windows 10 device of some sort, it can be a tablet, a laptop, desktop, whatever, as long as it has a USB port and is running Windows 10. That's really all you need. So I'm going to be using my gaming computer, which I have down here, but it doesn't have to have like really good processing power or anything like that. It can just be a cheap $10 computer from like 2001, as long as it can run Windows 10 and has USB ports. Additionally, you will need a wired Xbox 360 controller or a wireless Xbox 360 controller with the wireless PC adapter, which I have right here. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so as you can see here, I'm on the Xbox One home screen. It may look a little bit different than yours because I have the NXE update. It will be coming later this month, sometime in November, but um, I have early access. It doesn't matter though, you don't need it to run or to use this method. Um, it will work with any Xbox One. As you can see, I have my Xbox One down here. Um, and then my gaming computer over here with the wireless adapter sitting on top. Now in order for this to work you will need your Xbox and computer connected to the same network which is why I have my router down here and there's two connections one being the Xbox and the other being my computer. Now that I find that this works a lot better over um, Ethernet or a wired connection than Wi-Fi. I've had a lot of issues over Wi-Fi but it will work so make sure that both of your devices are wired or on Wi-Fi. If it's one or the other, it just simply will not work for whatever reason. So, um, with that being said, you might be wondering how I signed in or anything like that, because you need to be signed in on both the Xbox and the computer for this to work. And I used a keyboard to sign in, I don't know if you know, but you can use a Windows keyboard, or any keyboard, it doesn't have to be a Windows keyboard. Um, to control the Xbox, but that's pretty much limited to menus and stuff like that and typing. It doesn't have like game support or anything. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my computer connection now. They're both plugged into the TV. The computer's on HDMI 1. Um, I was previously playing The Witcher 3, but we'll just go ahead and alt tab out of that. So what you're going to want to do is, on your Windows 10 device, go to the Start menu and open up the Xbox app. Now by default in Windows 10, the Xbox app will be like right over here. And then once you're in this app, you'll see all of this stuff, and then down in the corner here, there's this little connect button. My computers are already connected because they're both on the same network, and I was using this method earlier today to play the Xbox One. So you're just going to go ahead and click on that, and then you'll have all the options over here, or it'll say like connect up top, and then you'll just want to connect first. And so first, we're going to stream. You don't want to click on controller remote volume or anything like that. Additionally, what I should have said before that is you want to have the Xbox 360 controller connected to the PC before you open the Xbox app. If it's not connected before you open the Xbox app, then it will not work. I don't know why, but that's just how it is. You may have noticed that I have the um, Play and Charge Kit connected to this 360 controller. That's not necessarily necessary at all. It's simply because my batteries in this controller were dead and I needed power, obviously, to show you this video. It, the Xbox 360 will connect wirelessly, even though that this cable is connected. So you can't use this cable to make a wireless controller wired. You have to have the uh, wireless adapter like I have over there still. So yeah. Now as you can see here, the Xbox is streaming to my computer. So this feature was originally intended, I guess, so you could play in a different room. Maybe if somebody was using the TV that the Xbox is connected to, you could just stream it to the computer and play in another room. Now the nice part about this though is that my Xbox 360 controller is now able to control the console, which is really nice. It has full support, everything works. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start up a game, but before I do that, I'm going to switch back over to HDMI 2, which is where my Xbox One is plugged in, 
because the Xbox One is still outputting video and it's a bit higher quality. When you're streaming, there is some quality loss. It's not a lot, but I wouldn't recommend it. Also, things just seem to be much clearer and snappier when just going off the Xbox. So, I'm going to go ahead and start a game. Um, probably should make it an Xbox One game. Wouldn't do much good to show you guys a 360 game, I don't think. Um, might be some questions raised if I did that. So, just going to wait for Minecraft to load up. Now, I wouldn't recommend this as a permanent solution. It's really a temporary type solution. Um, if you don't have a controller for whatever reason. I bought this console off of eBay, so it didn't come with a controller. So, I was I just had an idea. Found this out. Thought it was really cool. And I'm getting ready to get rid of this Xbox now. So, I thought I'd make this video before I go ahead and get rid of it for good. But, um, I should probably show you guys. Um, sure, just load up my world. Oh, it's not synced. Okay, whatever. Um, I guess we can create a new world. Actually, you know what? Yesterday was Halloween. Let's go to Halloween world. Um, go down to load. Okay, yeah, that's, but that's fine. Blah, blah, blah. Now, I haven't noticed any latency with this over, um, Ethernet. If you're using Wi-Fi, that's when you start running into issues. But it works great. I was even able to play Call of Duty online without any problems. And as you can see here, um, oh boy, this is really hard to do with one hand. I'm hitting all sorts of buttons right now. But it works great. Everything's good. It's pretty much just like connecting the controller directly to the console, except there's a middleman in there being your computer or whatever, Windows 10 device. And that's pretty much it. And then when you're done, you can just turn off your computer or whatever. You will have to connect it this way every single time you want to use the controller. Oh, wow, that's that's really cool. How did they do that? Huh, it's been a while since I've played this. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.